Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Um, it's time for our air analysis today. As you can see, without even reading the problem that we're going to be dividing with decimals, which was our lesson from Monday. So if you need to, pull out that video from Monday about dividing with decimals, and we'll jump in. It says Jackson solved the problem below. All right, Jackson, let's see what you did here. His mark and answer is in bold. What is the quotient of 11 and 34 hundredths and 9? Okay, so they set up the little house. They put our dividend in the correct place. They put the divisor in the correct place. Notice that the decimal is in the dividend. So recall real quick from Monday, what do we do when there's only a decimal in the dividend? Think about it. That's right. You just have to bring the decimal straight up. So, did they bring the decimal straight up like they were supposed to? No, it doesn't really look like it, does it? So, what? let's do this. Let's work backwards. Let's solve the, solve, um, the problem first, and then we'll go through and correct and see what he did wrong. Okay, so pause the video, take a minute, and solve for yourself what he did wrong. All right, so I'm going to set it up 11 and 34 hundredths divided by 9. I'm going to bring my decimal straight up and plant it. Will 9 go into 1? Nope, but it will go into 11. One time. 1 times 9 is 9. Subtract. 11 minus 9 is 2. Bring down my 3. How many times will 9 go into 23? Two times, let's make that one a little bit bigger. Two times nine is 18. 23 minus 18, we're gonna have to do some regrouping. 13 minus eight is five. Bring down my four. How many times will nine go into 54? Well, nine times six is 54, so six. Six times nine is 54, like we just said. Subtract, and we get zero. Is there anything else to bring down? Nope, and we have a remainder of zero, so our answer is one and 26 hundredths. All right, so let's go back to Jackson's problem compare. All right, did he raise the decimal correctly? No. Okay, so, but he did his math correct, right? He got one, he got two, we did subtraction, 23 minus 18, he got five, but then he just stopped. Okay, did he bring down his four? No, he didn't even do, use his four. And then he looked at the five and said it was a remainder of five. Okay, um, part of it is because he didn't line his numbers up correctly and it may have been that he forgot about the four. So he did a bunch wrong. Okay, so let's, let's simplify what he did. All right, we know that R. Jackson uh, wouldn't do this, but uh, all right. So Jackson solved, um, Jackson did not bring his decimal from the dividend in up correctly and didn't finish dividing. All right, guys. So there's our air analysis problem for today. Um, have any questions, just post them below. All right, see you tomorrow.